But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. Amen. So that's Galatians 5, 22 through 26. And our focus tonight is going to be the fruit of the spirit of love. We're going to be praying through all the fruit of the spirit by leading of the Holy Spirit. Tonight, we're going to focus on the fruit of the spirit of love. So even as I'm about to lead us in prayer, people of God, I just encourage you to set your hearts on that and let us come together on one accord as we press into God for fruit development in the area of love. Amen. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you tonight. Glory. We love you tonight, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Loving Father, we come to you tonight. We honor you as perfect love. God, we thank you for loving us when we did not and we could not love ourselves. We thank you, God, for your shed blood on the cross of Calvary. That signified just how much you loved us, God. We adore you tonight. We bless and exalt your name. We thank you for being our example in all things. You are the one true lover of our souls. You are our true companion. You are our redeemer. You are our sustainer. You are our peace. And we honor you tonight for who you are and all that you have been to us. We bless you. We magnify your holy name. Holy Spirit, even as you started on Tuesday night to bait us in deeper with you. And there are many of you on the line who messaged or reached out to say that Tuesday night's prayer really stirred in your spirit for what it is that God is calling you into. Holy Spirit started to bait us into the deep with him, even on Tuesday night. So even as you did that, Holy Spirit, you're challenging us tonight to press into the fruit of the spirit. We're going even deeper, Father, and we give you glory for that calling, that beckoning as deep calls unto deep. Truly, it is a season for fruit development, and we open up ourselves and surrender our hearts for you to do the deep work that you desire to do in us. We cannot develop fruit on our own. Outside of you, your word says we can do nothing. And your word also tells us that we shall be known by our fruit. So we know that this fruit development process is something you desire for us. Holy Spirit, even tonight, we're focusing on the fruit of the spirit of love and you describe this fruit for us in 1 Corinthians 13. And 1 Corinthians 13 says, Love endures with patience and serenity. Love is kind and thoughtful and is not jealous or envious. Love does not brag and is not proud or arrogant. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not provoked, not overly sensitive and easily angered. It does not take into account a wrong endured. It does not rejoice at injustice, but rejoices with the truth when right and truth prevail. Glory to God. Love bears all things regardless of what comes. Believes all things, looking for the best in each one. Hopes all things, remaining steadfast during difficult times. Endures all things without weakening. Thank you, God. Love never fails. It never fades. It never ends. Holy Spirit, we press into these characteristics, your characteristics, your loving nature tonight, God, as outlined in 1 Corinthians 13, even as we press into the fruit of the spirit of love. God, we repent for all the ways and times that we have been unloving. Even as I read through those verses in 1 Corinthians 13, my heart was convicted by all the ways that I have not been loving. And I know that there are those who have listened to that and also feel convicted tonight, God. So we repent for all the ways that we have not operated in the fruit of love. For all the times that we've limited and watered down love to a feeling and not a fruit. Glory. Sanctify our hearts tonight, God. Purify us even in this area. We ask you to empty us of every false identity, every worldish definition or understanding of love. We repent tonight in the name of Jesus. According to your word, God, and your definition of love tonight, we ask you, Spirit of the living God, to work on our hearts. We cannot be loving without you. Help us to endure 
as your word says, with patience and serenity. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you deal with every trace of impatience and anxiety in our hearts tonight, God. In the name of Jesus, we break agreement with the spirit of impatience tonight. Impatience is fear. So we break agreement with fear. We break agreement with anxiety in the name of Jesus. God, we repent tonight and we ask your forgiveness, spirit of truth. Your word says love is kind and it is thoughtful. Holy Spirit, help us to be kind and thoughtful in this season. Deal with every unkind tendency and way in our hearts and in our lives. Every way that we are inconsiderate. Every way that we don't take others into consideration. We repent tonight, God. Have mercy on us, glory. And teach us how to truly love Father, your word says love is not jealous. It is not envious glory. Father, forgive us tonight for jealousy. Forgive us tonight for envy, for all the ways that we compare ourselves to others, for all the ways that we covet what other people have, for all the ways that we compete with others. God, we repent tonight in the name of Jesus and we ask your forgiveness, God. Help us to be content with what we have. And even if there are things that we don't have that we want, teach us how to come to you for what we want. Instead of being envious and jealous of other people, Father, we ask you tonight to cleanse our hearts of envy and jealousy. In the mighty name of Jesus, cleanse our hearts, God, even of competition and demonic comparison. Cleanse our hearts tonight, Father, in Jesus' name. These traits, these characteristics are not loving. They do not display or demonstrate the fruit of love. So we ask you to rid us of these, this, these uh, uh, sinful practices and sinful tendencies tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, your word says love does not brag. It is not proud. It is not arrogant. Jesus, help us tonight, God. Forgive us for pride. Forgive us for haughtiness and high-mindedness, God. For every way that we think or feel or act like we're better than others, even unintentionally, even unknowingly, we ask you to search our hearts tonight. Purify us in the name of Jesus. People of God, If I, as I'm praying, as these characteristics of love are gripping your hearts, I want you wherever you are to begin to repent for your own self, for ways that you have not been loving, for ways that you have not allowed Holy Spirit to cultivate the fruit of love in your heart. I am leading the prayer, but this is for each of us to examine ourselves. Glory. The Bible says, let a man examine himself, even as Holy Spirit is moving on this line. Let him begin to point out to you the individual ways that you have not been loving glory father we pray that you deal with pride in the mighty name of jesus deal with every spirit of bragging every spirit of boastfulness even false humility we confess that tonight god let us not be deceived even in this we break agreement with pride tonight and all associated demons of pride, glory. And we command their assignment in our lives to be broken now in the mighty name of Jesus, glory. Every spirit of Leviathan, let, yes, Holy Spirit, every spirit of Leviathan, we say the Lord God rebuke you tonight in the name of Jesus, glory to God. Every spirit of pride be broken tonight by the power and the authority of the name, the blood and the word of Jesus Christ. God, your word says love is not rude. That is what 1 Corinthians 13 says. Forgive us tonight for all the times that we have been rude. Glory in our actions, in our speech, in our attitude, in our personalities. Forgive us tonight, God. We repent and we ask you to help us to cultivate godly manners. Glory, a godly politeness, godly courtesy, a godly tone in how we communicate. Speak Holy Spirit. Deliver us from the spirit of rudeness tonight, God, in Jesus name, even in ways. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that we are short with each other. Speak, Holy Spirit, that we are abrupt with each other, that we don't exercise patience. I pray, God, that you deliver us from the spirit of rudeness in the name of Jesus. God, your word says love is not self-seeking, neither is it easily provoked or angered. Father, tonight I ask you to forgive us for selfishness for self-seeking behavior, for selfish ambition, everywhere where it has just been all about us and our needs and our wants and our desires. Father, we ask you to forgive us tonight, glory. 
for every way that we have been super sensitive and easily angered or provoked by others. Speak Holy Spirit. The Lord is even revealing tonight that some of us are super sensitive. Every little thing offends us. Every little thing provokes us. And God is trying to stabilize us even in the, in the fruit of love by causing us to not easily be anger glory. The word of God says anger does not produce the righteousness of God. Recognize tonight, people of God, that every time you get angry, you are not producing the righteousness of God. Help us tonight, Holy Spirit. Help us tonight. We confess and we repent in your presence. God, your word says love thinks no evil. My God, God, help us in this area. God, help us in this area. It is so easy for us to think evil. Help us in this area, God. The enemy is called the accuser of the brethren. And he often accuses us to you and he accuses us to each other. Remind us, God, that love does not think evil. When the enemy tries to tell us that this is what people are thinking or this is what people are saying about us. Remind us that love does not think evil. Help us not to partner with the enemy in thinking evil of you, God. Help us not to partner with the enemy in thinking evil of each other. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver us from evil thinking tonight in Jesus' name. Help us to set our minds on those thoughts that are pure, those thoughts that are true. Those thoughts that are lovely, those thoughts that are of good report, your word says, if there be any virtue, glory, if there be any praise, those are the things we are to think on. So deliver us from evil thinking tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. God, even as we press deeper into the fruit of the spirit of love, your word says in 1 Corinthians 13, that love does not take into account a wrong endured. It does not rejoice in iniquity. Father, help us in the name of Jesus. We are living in a season where people rejoice when they hear that someone has been caught in an offense, where they rejoice when they hear that someone has fallen. We're quick to cancel people. We're quick to rejoice in ways that they have fallen. This is not love. This is not a fruit of Holy Spirit. And we repent tonight, God, your word says it does not rejoice in iniquity. Holy Spirit, teach us how to truly cover each other in the name of Jesus to not rejoice when someone falls or fails or makes a mistake to not stand back and judge glory speak Holy Spirit teach us how to cover each other teach us how to cover each other and to truly hold each other up in prayer let us not be in the business of exposing because the truth is God none of us want our stuff to be exposed by you glory speak Holy Spirit so teach us how to cover in a, in a, in a, in a, a time where the, the emphasis is on canceling. Teach us how to cover in the mighty name of Jesus glory. Thank you, God. I, I receive that in the mighty name of Jesus as everyone else is canceling. Teach us how to cover. Help us to rejoice in the truth, in your truth, God. What your word says concerning each other. What your word says concerning different circumstances in our lives. Help us tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. Glory. As we press deeper into love. Verse 7 of 1 Corinthians 13 says, Love bears all things regardless of what comes. Love believes all things, looking for the best in each one. Love hopes all things, remaining steadfast during difficult times. And love endures all things without weakening. Glory, glory. Holy Spirit, help us in our bearing. Help us in our believing. Help us in our hoping. Help us in our enduring tonight in the name of Jesus. God, I pray for divine fortitude in the fruit of love tonight in Jesus name. I pray for divine fortitude. God, teach us how to endure. Teach us how to fight. Teach us how to persevere, God, in the area of love, in the area of love in our relationships. Father, I pray you forgive us for being quick to give up. Speak, Holy Spirit. Forgive us for being quick to let go. Forgive us for being quick to run away. Forgive us for being quick to withhold our love when we're offended or we're hurt or we don't get our own way. Sanctify our hearts tonight, Holy Spirit. Speak, God. And even as I'm praying, thank you, Holy Spirit. I sense the strong spirit of reconciliation on the call in this moment. 
even as we're praying into the fruit of love and as we're asking God to strengthen us in this fruit so that we can bear all things, believe all things, hope all things and endure all things. The Holy Spirit is revealing that there are those of us who have given up and walked away from relationships prematurely. Speak Holy Spirit. Speak Holy Spirit. Even in this moment, glory, shanda, robokora, bashanda, Holy Spirit is convicting our hearts about those connections that we need to reconcile in Jesus' name. Whether it was that we got frustrated or impatient or weary, we walked away and that was not God's desire. It was not his will. Holy Spirit, I pray you reveal that tonight in the name of Jesus and give us the grace and the strength to reconcile and to forgive in Jesus name. The Lord is even revealing for some married couples, even under the sound of my voice, that even though you have not left the union physically, you have left emotionally, you have left in your heart and there is a spirit of reconciliation. Speak Holy Spirit that is being manifested on this call tonight and God is reminding us that love bears all things regardless of what comes love believes all things it looks for the best in the other person it is easy people of God to highlight flaws it is easy to find faults in other people but the Bible says love looks for the best in each other it says love hopes all things it remains steadfast during difficult times it's easy to hope when things are good but when things are difficult that is when our steadfastness is needed that is when we need to hope the Bible says love endures all things without weakening glory. Glory to God. I come against that weakening now in the name of Jesus, where some of us have endured, but we're beginning to feel weak in our endurance. We're beginning to feel like it's getting too much. We're beginning to feel like it's too much now to endure in love as it pertains to a relationship or a person. God, I pray for divine fortitude. I pray for divine strength in the name of Jesus that we will endure all things without weakening, without weakening glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, reveal to us tonight the relationships that you are calling us to reconcile the people that you're calling us to forgive in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us the grace and strength to reconcile God, to forgive in the name of Jesus. Love bears, it hopes, it endures, it believes. Many of us say we love tonight, God, but we, we, we say we love based on a feeling and not on the fruit. Speak Holy Spirit and your word says we shall be known not by what we say we feel, but by the fruit that our lives represent and reflect. So Father, I pray for fruit development in the area of love tonight in the name of Jesus. Help us, God. Help us, God. We cannot do it without you. Your word says love never fails. It never fades. It never ends. The fruit of love is not something that you fall out of, people of God. You can fall out of the feeling of love, but you cannot fall out of the fruit of love glory. It is an enduring character trait that does not fail. It does not fade. It does not end. If you find that you're fluctuating in and out of love, it means that you are operating in a feeling and not the fruit. Holy Spirit, teach us how to love tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us in the areas that we continue to struggle None of us will be perfected until the day of Jesus Christ, but help us to daily seek you in this. Help us to daily partner with you in this, to daily press into the fruit of the spirit glory. Your word says you are love. Your word says you are perfect love. Help us to be more like you tonight, God. We say that we are your people and the sheep of your pasture. Help us to be more like you. We repent individually and corporately tonight, God. We repent for all the ways that we have not been loving, for all the ways that we have not demonstrated the fruit of love. Father, I pray even now for a fresh baptism of the spirit of love to fall upon every heart glory under the sound of my voice in the mighty name of Jesus. A fresh baptism glory of the spirit of love for those of you on the free conference call line. I just want you to do this prophetic act with me and I want you to raise your hands like you're receiving the fresh baptism 
of the spirit, the, of the fruit of the spirit of love. For those of you on Periscope, I want you to do this prophetic act with me. I want you to find an emoji of hands that are open to receive as we receive a fresh baptism of the spirit of love in the mighty name of Jesus. Teach us how to love God. The things that we have been operating in and calling love are not love. It's not love, God. And you're calling us into a deeper understanding of this fruit, of fruit development in this season. Perfect love. We ask you to rush in and drive out every trace of fear, every trace of torment in the mighty name of Jesus. Every trace of fear, God. The Bible says perfect love casts out all fear. And in many cases, the reason we're unable to love is because of fear, a fear of exposure, a fear of vulnerability. Father, I pray you cast out fear in the mighty name of Jesus. We told you on Tuesday night that we want to go deeper, God. We told you that the ordinary will not do glory. We told you that on Tuesday night we made a fresh commitment to you. And we ask you tonight to take us even deeper in fruit development in this season. Even as you've called our attention to praying into the fruit of the spirit. Father, take us deeper glory. We shall be known by our fruit. Some of us are not known in the spirit realm because we're not developing fruit. Father, I pray you take us deeper. Don't stop until we look like you, glory, in the name of Jesus. You, God, who have started this good work in us, continue to show yourself faithful to complete it in the name of Jesus. You're not going to leave us in an unfinished state. So even though we have not perfected love, you're not going to leave us where we are. You are faithful to complete the work you have started. So we surrender to you tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. We say yes to your fruit development process. We say yes to the development of the fruit of the spirit of love in our lives, God. May our lives never be the same glory. And I even prophesy that tonight over every person under the sound of my voice. That for the next couple of weeks, as we press into the fruit of the spirit, our lives will never be the same glory. Our interaction actions will never be the same. Our communication will never be the same. Our relationships will never be the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory. Glory to God. We press into the fruit of the spirit of love tonight, God, in Jesus' name. And we claim that as our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we invite you to mature us in you. Glory. Mature us in you, God. This is not for babes in Christ. This is for the mature because true love involves operating in constant forgiveness. Glory. Glory. Help us, God. Mature us in you. Mature us in you. In the name of Jesus. That we become more like you, God, even in this fruit of love. So, Father, I release this prayer, glory. I release this word over every person under the sound of my voice. God, I thank you that you're shifting things in our hearts and in our lives right now. I thank you that you're shifting even mindsets right now, God, in the name of Jesus. And you're bringing us into alignment. You're developing the seed of the fruit of love that has been planted in our hearts. We ask you to plow the field of our hearts tonight, God. Uproot every weed that may try to suffocate or strangle the seed of love that you have planted in our hearts. We call it into full maturity in the mighty name of Jesus. We yield and we submit to you glory. We yield and we submit to you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. So God, I cover every person under your blood from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. I thank you, God, for this journey that we have embarked on in you. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for divine conviction for divine confirmation in the name of Jesus, that you're going to bring it to our remembrance, that you're going to bombard us with this even as we go throughout this weekend. Thank you, God, that you're causing us to study Galatians 5 in our own private time, God, to make this a personal prayer, glory, to make this a personal desire, God, in the name of Jesus. Take us from glory to glory. Take us from deep to deep. Take us from higher higher heights to higher heights in this season, God. Help us to grow and mature in you. So God, we love you tonight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I feel your presence. We love you tonight, God. And we welcome you, Spirit of love, to embrace us, to invade us, to possess us. 
to ignite us in the mighty name of Jesus. Present opportunities for us to be loving, to show love to one another, God, to show love to our spouses, to show love to our family, to show love to our friends, to show love to even strangers. Your word says, be careful how you entertain strangers, for you may be entertaining angels unaware. Let there be a love explosion glory in the hearts and lives of the midnight cry callers tonight, God, and every person who will hear this word in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we yield and submit and surrender to you. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise, Father, in the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. People of God, I pray that this prayer stirred your hearts i pray that you were convicted in areas where you have not been loving i pray that you were challenged by the holy spirit to press in deeper even into galatians 5 even into first corinthians 13 we're in a season of fruit development god is maturing us in this season we told him on tuesday night that we don't want the ordinary we told him that we want to be taken deeper and he is answering that and he, we have entered into the school of the Holy Spirit. We have entered into his fruit development school. May God bless us. May God strengthen us. May God keep us. I love you guys. I am praying for you. Continue to keep the midnight cry prayer call lifted in prayer by the grace of God. We'll be back on the prayer call again next Tuesday at midnight Eastern Standard Time, 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. Welcome to those of you who this was your first time tuning in. We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, MNC Prayer Call, because we're going to be transitioning from Periscope at the end of this month. And we want you all to make that transition with us. We don't want any midnight I cry caller left behind. Amen. God bless you guys. I love you.